Hi guys, this is Dr. Neda with Keys of Health. Someone asked me a question. They asked me what happens after people recover from coronavirus. Let me start off by saying that it is very, very early on for us to make any claims and say this is what happens to the body. Because remember, it's a novel coronavirus. We had never seen it before. Uh, humans had known six kind of coronaviruses. This is the seventh strain or, uh, of coronavirus, and it's very new and very, very early for us to, to say that, uh, you know, or come up with any statistics or say anything for sure. But there have been studies done by medical journals already studying the patients who have recovered, and uh, the information coming out of it of course it's very uh, early and it's very early stages but uh, this is what we have found so far okay uh, coronavirus patients can keep the pathogen in their respiratory tract for as long as 37 days, meaning they could remain infectious for many weeks. Given that the current quarantine period is recommended as 14 days, patients um, might remain contagi contagious long after their symptoms have vanished, unwittingly infecting many other people, right? And spreading the virus further. So can they get it again, meaning can they be reinfected with the same virus? There are isolated reports of people getting reinfected coming out of uh, China, Japan, and South, South Korea. However, there might be other uh, reasons besides reinfection. There is the possibility of it remaining dormant after an initial uh, bout of sickness with minimal symptoms before it was uh, it at attacked the lungs again, right? Or there is always human error that means that they were probably discharged prematurely or they were tested inaccurately, okay? Typically, when a viral infection is def uh, defeated by the body's immune system, it knows, the body knows how to defeat it again. They are immune to it. This is called immunity. An exception would be if the patient is in some way immunodeficient. Uh, there was a study done by a doctor in Hong Kong okay, who studied the 74 cases who were discharged, who were among the first wave of coronavirus-infected uh, individuals, and they were discharged. And he noticed that two or three among the 74 were not able to do things as they had done in the past, okay? They, uh, the doctor said that they were gasping, uh, if they walked a bit more quickly, right? Uh, some patients might have a drop of around 20 to 30% in lung function after the recovery, okay? These patients will now undergo tests to determine how much lung function they still have, uh, and physiotherapy and cardiovascular exercises was, would also be encouraged to strengthen their lungs. We don't know if they will ever be able to get the full functioning of their lungs back, okay? Scans uh, done on them suggest that uh, there is organ damage to the lungs, but it was so far uncertain whether this could lead to complications later in life, such as pulmonary fibrosis, right? So it's still fairly early to uh, determine what can happen or how far coronavirus can affect an individual even after they have made the recovery. Remember, I spoke to you about this in my video on viruses. Viruses can remain dormant in our bodies for life, right? And they might reattack when the environment is ideal for them to, to come back. They will never attack us or not necessarily attack us with the same force because we have developed some sort of immunity against them, but they can recur, okay? An example of that is uh, shingles, right? Herpes virus. Okay, uh, I hope uh, that I have cleared some of your confusion. This is it for this video. If you have any more questions or concerns, anything you would like me to clarify, I will do my best. Please, please, please uh, be responsible, stay safe, uh, Follow the advice of the experts, maintain social distancing at this point, and take care of each other and take care of yourself. Please subscribe to my channel. 
Please share this video to help your friends, your family get to know about this as much as possible. We can and we will write this together. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.